All right, I'm going to show you something very interesting. This is here, Ezekiel chapter 22, verses 24 to 31. And this here gives a perfect description of the satanic, wicked, pagan Jesuit order. And I know the uh, little Jesuit liar Aaron Deering thing brought these scriptures up in his video attacking the Jesuits. Um, I have grounds to believe that that little liar is a Jesuit himself, but I'm not going to get into too much of that. But Ezekiel chapter 22, verses 24 to 31, gives a perfect description of the wicked Jesuit order, the satanic uh, cult that it is. Ezekiel chapter 22, verses 24 to 31. My cat just jumped on there. Please don't get in the way, kitty. Boa. Okay, just had to get my cat out of the way. He's right there. But had to get him out of the way, but yeah. So this is a perfect description of the Jezebel order. Ezekiel 22, verses 24 to 31. Son of man, say unto her, Thou art the land that is not cleansed, nor reigned upon on the day of indignation. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof, like a roaring lion, ravening the prey. They have devoured souls. They have taken, uh, they have taken treasure. Sorry, it's hard to read while holding the phone. They have taken the treasure and precious things. They have made uh, her many wi widows in the midst thereof. Perfect description right there. You know, they devour souls. Roman Catholicism has sent more people to hell than anything else. They devour souls. Very good description of the Jesuits. Uh, verse 26. Her priests viola have violated my law. They have profaned mine holy things. Hmm. Kind of like the Roman Catholic priesthood and the Jesuit priesthood. Violating God's laws. The Bible says you had to be married to be a bishop. But the Catholic Church says, no, you don't have to be married. You know, the Roman Catholic Church calls the priest father. Jesus Christ says, call no man father. And of course, the Catholics will say, the Jesuits will say, well, you know, you call your father father, so what's the difference? It's saying, call me no man father in the sense of a religious title, not in the sense of, you know, calling your mother and father father. But you can't call someone father as like a religious title. That's what they go wrong on. But yeah, calling a priest father, They've, her priests have violated my law, have profaned mine holy things, like the Pope calling himself holy father. When that t that term only appears once in the Bible, and it's a reference to God the Father, not the, not any kind of man. So they're blasphemers, and profane my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and the profane. Again, good description. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean, like all the pedophile Catholic priests, and have hid their eyes from my Sabbath, and I am profane among them. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening the prey to shed blood and to, to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. Kind of like the uh, doctrine of indulgences, destroying souls and then getting gain by making you pay the Catholic Church to get you out of purgatory. The money-making doctrine of purgatory and indulgences, both money-making Catholic heresies. And her prophets have dubbed them with uh, untempered mother. Mortar, seeing vanity, so again, not good at reading them while holding my phone, seeing vanity and divining lies, divining lies unto them, saying, Thus saith the Lord God, when the Lord hath not spoken. Exactly, thus saith the Lord God, when the Lord hath not spoken. Catholic priests, Jesuit priests will say, Oh God, God revealed this to me. The Catholic Church says, Oh, the Holy Spirit reveals things to the Catholic Church. You know, they're saying, Thus saith the Lord God, when God didn't tell them anything. God didn't show them anything. And by the way, the Bible says in John 16, 13, and other places too, that the Holy Spirit guides you into all truth. You don't need any kind of priest or any kind of man to guide you into all truth. Now you can learn off other brethren, that is true, but you don't need them to, to guide you into all truth. That's what the Holy Spirit does. But yeah, thus saith the Lord God, when the Lord hath not spoken. Exactly. Good description of the catechism. The people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and needy. Again, money-making doctrine of purgatory. You know, give us your money, poor people, and then we'll get you out of purgatory. And indulgences and all that other stuff. Yea, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. Sorry, yeah, oppressed the stranger wrongfully. I am sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the uh, for the land that I should not destroy it, but I, but I found none. Therefore, I have poured out my indignation upon them. I have consumed them with fire, with the fire of my wrath. Their own way I have... Uh, Recompense upon their heads, saith the Lord God. Exactly. God's going to destroy the Roman Catholic Church. It is indeed Mystery Babylon. It is not, it is nothing but, it is not Christianity. It's not biblical, Bible believing Christianity. It's pagan Roman religion repackaged. So, very good description of the Jesuit order. Uh, God's going to destroy them.
if they don't get saved. It is a very, very wicked system, and it is satanic. It's uh, basically going to help bring in the, the Antichrist, one world government, obviously, Roman Catholicism, again, this mystery Babylon. So, don't be deceived by the wicked Jesuit order. It is wicked. It is satanic. So, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.